Hey friends, I have been baking and making stuff all day long because I'm going to Dave's house tomorrow, him and Shannon. I got invited to go to their barbecue and not only that, I, um, I'm going to help them with their porch, you know, the best I can because of course Dave helped me with mine. You can see me. A little bit. There we go. He helped me with mine, so I'm going to return a favor. And I thought, you know, I'll just do a little bit of vlog while I'm doing my dishes. I made a big batch brownies. I'll show that to you. I just got a frosted. I just got the frosting. I also made um, my famous macaroni salad. The kind macaroni salad that my family just loves. I've got a nice four quart ice cream pail full of that. So that'll be good too. And what else? I've got to make some cucumber salad. And I got my cucumbers all cut up for that. So I've had a busy day. And then I find out the brakes on my car. Thank God my son is a mechanic because I'd be broke. My brakes on my car need to be replaced. Not just the brakes, but I guess the cal caliper or rotors or something like that. I'm completely mechanically ignorant. I'm so sorry. But the only thing I know how, uh, about a car is the oil and the gas. Much beyond that, that couldn't help anybody. So anyway, he's going to fix that probably next week. But I got my husband's car, so I can, I, you know, I can use that one and leave the Jeep parked until it's set. Um, I didn't go outside at all today. Oh, I want to tell you something. Rocky, my rooster. Oh, he's a pistol. He, um, my friend Wanda came over with her granddaughter, and her granddaughter was just fell in love with the chickens, you know. And she said, "Oh, can I pick one up?" Well, listen, guys. My chickens are very friendly, and you know they've—you've seen it. They've been um, very, very friendly with my with my grandkids, and uh, no problem. But Rocky, all oh, his feathers. When I opened up that door and she was going to reach in for a hen, who was standing right there waiting to be picked up, his feathers got all flared up, and he pecked her on her hand. And I reached in there to kind of shoo him back, and he pe tried to peck at me. And I thought, ooh, he doesn't like strangers or something. He was all sort of bent out of shape. And then uh, I didn't know what to do. And I thought, well, so after uh, my friend Wanda left, I went over there, and I opened up the door of the coop because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to have a mean rooster. Bless his heart. He's a beautiful rooster, but with kids around, I won't have a mean rooster. He'll go right out to my son's. But I opened up the door, and he come right up to me like, what's going on? What's going on? What you got for me? And I thought, well, maybe he just don't like strangers, and that's okay. He, he doesn't have to like strangers, just as long as he doesn't do that with my grandkids. But he's never seen her before. Oh, I made frosting, and my granddaughter, yep, you can have that too, and my granddaughter, gets the beaters. So anyway, that was the thing with Rocky. I wasn't quite sure what was going on because he's never been mean to the little kids. Maybe it's just because he didn't know her. You know, that's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, so he's okay. He's he's going to have to, he, he can stay. But I, I won't have just like a mean dog or a mean cat. I won't keep an animal that's mean. But I think he just was protecting his girls, you know matter no matter what he still protects him i'm gonna turn this around because i gotta wipe my stove off i'm bringing you along with me while i clean my you gotta go wash your hands baby <laughs> i'm bringing you along while i straighten up here wipe my stove down you ever get a piece of hair on your stove that for the life of you you can't get it off so that was a little, a little kind of, kind of interesting today when he did that. I wasn't sure, 
I don't want them to get mean. That's why I got the barred rocks because a uh, barred rock rooster because they're supposed to be real docile and calm and rather friendly. And by gosh, we were able to get her a hen, and she got to hold a hen, and she had a ball with it. And then my husband, I talked to my husband today, and he's like, "Well, go get them, go get the chickens a treat for me." I'm like, what, what am I supposed to get them? I got, I got all kinds of treats at the house. He says, no, get them a dozen night crawlers for me. So I had to go up to the store, up to the gas station where they sell the crawlers, and I got them the chickens, 18 Canadian um, night crawlers. That was like $4, so that's all right. We got them a little treat, and boy, did they love it. I had the one little hen, my one of my black astrolarps. She, uh, oh, she gobbled down like five of them. She couldn't, and nobody could get to them. She was just tearing around. It's like, I call it chicken football. When they get something, they take off running, and they're all running. And that chicken was running with a worm in her mouth, and the other one went zoom right by her and took that worm right out of her mouth. Is my phone ringing? Okay, I'll be right back, friends. Can you see my big old huge sheet pan of brownies? That's my big batch brownies, by the way. They always turn out wonderful. I don't want my teapot to fall off the stove, but I am going to frost them. I'll show you how easy I do this. These are gonna be wonderful. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I put everything in the freezer, but I'm gonna put it in the freezer where so it'll stay nice. And, uh, Tomorrow it'll give me time because I got to drive 50 miles to Lake City from here. So if I put these in the freezer, they won't fall out before I get there. Or they'll probably just be thawing out when I get there. And uh, it's not extremely hot outside, so they should be pretty good. And then uh, they'll travel well for me. I do that a lot. When I got to travel with something, I put it in the freezer, especially if it's something that I can freeze, you know. Otherwise, I got my cooler. Well, David let me use a cooler the last time when we went grocery shopping. Remember, I did that in a, I did a video on that. So I used his cooler. We put ice in it, and then I brought my groceries home in it, and it worked out so well. So this time, I've got to take my um, macaroni salad, my cucumber salad, so... All I'm gonna do is put it in his cooler because I gotta return that. And that way I can make use of it and return it as well. So there they are. There's the big batch brownies. Aren't those gorgeous? I do believe they will like those tomorrow. Okay. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of walnuts on them. Just sprinkle them, whole walnuts. I don't cut them or nothing. I just throw them on there. I don't like the crumbly because this way, if somebody doesn't want walnuts on there, they'll be able to take it off, you know? So I just put a few big ones here and there. There, good enough. There we go, that'll be good. Put one there, and 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 I feel wonderful today, friends. I went and got a shot of cortisone today. I feel like a new woman already. Mm. My thumbs hurt so bad from arthritis. I'm telling you, I got a cortisone shot. I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. Hang on. I got a cortisone shot back in early May, and it was fantastic because I got trouble with my shoulder. I was in a bad, bad car accident, and let me tell you, it still hurts, you know, and I've, I've lived with it. I've coped with it. You know what? Take a Motrin. Go to work. I'm not a whiner. Really, I'm not, but that hurt, and the older I get, the more it hurts, so... He said, well, how about I give you a shot of cortisone? That was in my neck. 
And I thought, okay, I, you know, I don't like that because I'm so sensitive to medication. I thought, oh, how many PVCs? I just know it. Well, n I didn't. Not only I didn't get PVCs, I didn't react to it. I felt brand new. My neck didn't hurt because it was to the point where I couldn't hardly move it. You know, it didn't hurt. Nothing hurt on me. I felt wonderful. I don't know if this is right. And it lasted for about four months. And then that's when my thumbs started to hurt, you know, and I thought, gosh, that's really odd. Why would your thumbs hurt? Of all the things, your thumbs are going to hurt. Well, he gave me a shot of cortisone in the arm. It took care of my thumbs. It took care of my hip. It took care of my shoulder and my neck. And it's like, I don't know about you guys, but I can't just spring out of bed in the morning. It's like you go to get out of bed in the morning and it's like, where's the wall? Wear something. I got to pull myself out of bed. The joke is getting out or rolling out of bed is the easiest thing to do in the morning. It's getting back up off the floor that kills you. But anyway, I don't know. Some of you can probably relate where you almost got to pull yourself up the wall to get out of bed. Well, I was to that point. But that cortisone, that stuff's a godsend. Absolutely. So there. Do you think they'll like this? I think that's pretty. That's, that, that's a heavy sucker. And this is a half sheet pan. This is an 18 by 13 pan. So if you make my big batch brownies, do it in an 18 by 13 pan and it will turn out fantastic. So I'm going to shut the camera off because I got to run that out to my freezer and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, I'm back. I also wanted to share with you. Well, I did go to the doctor to get that cortisone shot today. And of course they weigh in, take your blood pressure and you know, all that good mumbo jumbo with it. Well, I lost three pounds, but I know why I lost three pounds. I have a hard time losing weight because I've got Hashimoto's disease. I was diagnosed with that at 17 years old. Any of you who know what Hashimoto's disease know what I go through. Anyway, so I lost three pounds, but I've been riding my bike every night faithfully from anywhere from a half hour to an hour and a half. And I ride uphill, downhill, straight away. I get a good workout and it's fantastic. And I've been, you know, kind of watching what I eat, just cut, not so much watching what I eat because I do eat healthy to begin with. It's portion size. So I've been watching that and I'm down three pounds and it might not seem like a lot, but when you got Hashimoto's disease, which absolutely makes your metabolism very, very, very slow, almost comatose, that's a good thing. That's nice. Okay, look at all my cucumbers I got here. I'm going to yak with you while I, let's see, I can move this back here. That's my mixer, and I'll put that away later. My friend usually comes about 6 o'clock to go for a bike ride. Actually, I think she's pulling in now. So I may have to hold off on my cucumbers until I get back. But look at the tomato I picked out of my garden. Isn't that crazy looking? Have you ever seen a funny looking tomato like that? You can see through one part of it. <laughs> it's like two of them fused together and then they got the little cat face in the bottom. So anyway, that's kind of neat. I've got tomatoes out there bigger than my hand. Huge. I think I showed you in a video. And I had a bunch of cherry tomatoes today that were ripe. And oh, are they ever sweet and wonderful. So anyway, I'm going to go because I'm going to go on my bike ride. But I'll see you in like two seconds. Hey, friends. I'm back from my bike ride. Oh, it was about a 40 minute bike ride. Now I got to the last thing I have to do for tomorrow is uh, put my cucumber salad together. And boy, I got lots of cucumbers. I might add some more to it. I'm just doing this onion really, really thin. It's about as thin as I can possibly slice it. I don't know if I ever did a video on my cucumber salad, but you'll probably see yeah, that's good. Those are good. You'll see how I do it. 
I love cooking for barbecues and friends and I have a ball. I never go someplace empty handed. I can't do that. I've always been taught that if you're invited, you bring something. So I'm taking cucumber salad, macaroni salad, and a big, beautiful, um, big batch browns. Let's see, my cucumbers are in my fridge. I don't have too many of them. I may add some more to that. That's a nice amount of onions for that too. That'll be good. And I got some fresh dill. mixed around in there. See that? All right, I'll put that there. I gotta get down my little dish here because I'm gonna do, oh, this is off the top of my head, a half a cup of, yeah, I'm gonna do a half a cup. It depends on how much I have. Sometimes I do a whole cup, but I'm gonna do a half a cup and I need to do the other half of that with sour cream. So half a cup of mayo and a half cup of sour cream. And we're good to go. Let's see, I don't want that. Here it is. Oh, it's too big. There we go. I like scooping it out like this. Yep, I went for a bike ride. I'm just amazed that I lost three pounds. I'm proud of that. Because, whoops, how do you like that? <laughs> this is unedited all over my counter so my counter is nice and clean so that's just going to go right in there isn't that funny you see a video of people cooking and you know never make a mistake or dump something and look what i just did mayo all over the place that's all right it'll wash up i have to wash it up right now so i don't get it all over everything I can't cook, and you never see it in any of my videos, but I can't cook anything unless I got soapy water in my sink. I gotta clean as I go. Some of my friends laugh at me, but that's just how I've always been. I clean as I go, and I always put a little dot of bleach in there so that everything's sanitized and everything's good. All right. Now, let me dry my hands. There's a piece of onion that can go in there. I'm gonna do a quarter, you know what? I might have to do a whole cup of this. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna dip this in here and do a quarter cup of this. that aside because I still might use more of that. I just wanted to do a little vlog bring you along on how my day is going. I'm getting ready for everything here. All right, so let's see. I need some of my apple cider vinegar in this. You can use white vinegar. I just like using my apple cider vinegar with the mother. And it's organic, so it's nice stuff. I always try to buy, depending on my budget, I always try to buy organic, not a tablespoon of anything. All right, there's a teaspoon of that. And of course, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here. Right here I've got, I'm going to set that aside. I picked some fresh dill out of my garden. Ooh, this is going to be nice. I hope they like this. Let's see, we're going to line this all up. There we go. So 
throw that in there. My counter's all nice and clean, so that little bit will be fine. All right, now I'm gonna whisk this. Yep, I'm gonna go to that and we're gonna, I'm gonna do a video of it too. And I think, you didn't see me with my thumb. I think Dave and I are going to do a video on a homemade spicy brown mustard. I guess he's got a wonderful recipe for it. You know what I forgot is the pepper. I put some pepper in here. So if, if y'all wanna learn how to make this salad, all this is, is, um, all I did with this one was a half cup of mayo and a quarter cup of sour cream, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of vinegar, and a shot of pepper. If you make a bigger batch, like if you do a cup, then do a half cup of sour cream. Always do half sour cream to which you do mayo, and it turns out creamy and wonderful. Okay? And you heard him the other day on the video. He likes pepper, so I got the lots of pepper in it. Give that a good mix. That's going to be beautiful. Perfect. I'm going to put this. You know what bothers me? When you have people showing you how to do uh, a video, a recipe video per se, and they dump the stuff from the bowl and they don't scrape the bowl. And then they half of it's left in the bowl or they mix it three times and, and call it good. That just makes me nuts. It's like, come on, let me in there and I'll mix that up and I'll scrape that bowl. This is gonna be good. I think I got enough on here. Now, if I add more tomorrow, tomorrow morning, if I get up and decide I wanna add more cucumbers to this, I don't think I'm going to though because this is quite a few. Look at how nice that turns out. My bowl's sloppy. I'm not going to serve it in that bowl. It turns out really good. I got to try a little piece. My fingers are clean. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, you friends, you should try that. You got an abundance of cucumbers. A lot of people like it with um the vinegar like dill style, I love it this way. That looks creamy. Ooh, that's so good. And those cucumbers are fresh out of my garden and nice and crispy. Okay, this is the bowl I'm going to serve it in. So, I'm going to put it right in there. I don't think I need to add any more to that tomorrow. I think that's going to be just enough. Well, this is funny. I'm taking my cucumber salad in a pretty, pretty colored Tupperware dish. See how pretty that turns out? That stuff is so good. I gotta have another one. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna show you something. taking my <coughs> cucumber salad in this pretty Tupperware dish and my macaroni salad in an ice cream tub. But look, that turned out really good too. Look at that, how nice that looks. Ooh, they're gonna love it. Everybody loves macaroni salad, so I always take extra of that. All right, I gotta clean up my mess and put this in the fridge. I'll be back. Okay, friends, I'm back. My husband called me on the phone. That's why I had to shut the camera off. And he was telling me, you know, he's out driving semi. And my granddaughter's here. She wants macaroni and cheese. I think it's too cute. Anyway, my husband called me. And he said, you know, he's in Tennessee. Um, about 50 miles from Nashville, maybe? Somewhere in there. I don't know. I don't know exactly where he's at. I don't know exactly how to get this box. So, can you tell I never buy this? 
We were in Dollar General. She says, Mom, I want mac and cheese. Okay. All right. Goodness sakes. Looks like not easy to open. Okay. Put those in there. Turn that way down. Anyway, my husband was telling me that he he's almost out of hours so in his day so he has to take his 10 hour break well he went to a ta down there travel centers of america and remember the other day i told you i wasn't dissing truck stops but you're like the captive audience well he had to pay <clears throat> and mind you he was going to get fuel there and he did eat dinner there and that was he had cod so he paid about 16 17 dollars for his dinner with his drink. He had to pay another $17 just to park his semi overnight in their big parking lot. All the parking spots, he said over half of the parking spots in that truck stop were reserved. And it's like, that's just like highway robbery. You know, it used to be years ago when we were driving together I mean we've driven together up until about two years ago but when we first started out driving together they had idle air and people asked now what's idle air what's that idle air you'd pay ten dollars a night for it and you would get this little unit that slid into your window and you would get internet phone service air conditioning and everything all the comforts of home in your truck through that idle air well they're obsolete now. They don't have them anymore. But that you paid ten dollars and you got that for the night. And it, you know, you really—they never had reserved parking. You couldn't call ahead and reserve it. It was first come, first serve. And that friends was where I learned creative parking 101. Because there's sometimes you're parked on a curve, all jacked up, and you know you're trying to get into a spot. But seventeen dollars just to park told you it's expensive to drive a semi it's just almost expensive out there and you know it's not like you can go and park in somebody's driveway ask them to park there or whatever or you're the captive audience and they take advantage of you they think truckers make all kinds of money well you don't you make good money but you don't get to keep it because that $17 adds up those meals add up all that adds up and I'm venting because that that made me mad. It's like, why did they gotta rob you? You know? People don't realize, you know, and companies don't realize everything that's in their store come from a truck driver. Instead of cutting them a break or giving us a break or saying thank you or whatever, it's like, you know, oh, they make money, so we're gonna, you know, make them pay $17. They'll pay it because they don't have no place else to park. I said, well, I certainly hope you don't get fuel from them. Go down the road where they wouldn't charge $10 or $17 and buy fuel from that person. That's just highway robbery. I'm done venting. Make my granddaughter her macaroni and cheese. I think I'm going to shut the video off. I did enough vlogging today. I got all my stuff done. Everything I'm going to take to the party tomorrow. I got it all ready. I got his cooler ready. So, we're done for the night. Went on our bike ride today. <coughs> I pedaled and pedaled and pedaled. And I love my big daddy seat. I got a seat on my bike that it's actually designed for seniors. Though I'm not a senior, you know, 10 minutes away, but though I'm not a senior, it, um, it helps my tailbone. Because years ago, when I was driving semi, I was out in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I think I told you that story. I slipped off the top rung of my truck and fell all the way to the ground. And I injured my disc in my, above my tailbone and I rotated my tailbone. It was just a nightmare. I spent six months driving and sitting on a donut while I drove. But anyway, it's bothered me every since. So the bike seat that I had just about killed me. I couldn't get maybe 20 minutes and I'd have to get off that seat. Well, this one came in the mail the other day. My friend's hubby put it on my on the bike for me and I've been pedaling like crazy. It's got shock absorbers on it. It takes the pressure off my tailbone and I love it and I ride, 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 and ride. So, 
I'm going to get in shape. Maybe lose a few pounds. <laughs> I told my husband, I says he's going to have to get me a stationary bike for the house for the winter time, and I'll put that seat on it. <laughs> It'll work. Anyway, friends, thanks for spending part of the day with me. It was enjoyable, and I love this. So you all have a good day. Actually, have a good weekend. There's a couple of videos coming up. You'll see this one on Monday. You all have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.